Well, hey there, everyone. Jep. Well, why am I so low? <laughs> Just a sec. I need to get something pop myself up a bit. I'll be right back. Wow, these are no more good. I might as well use these. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's better. <laughs> hey there, everyone. Jap28 here. How's it going? Now, I want to thank everyone who came out to my Skylanders Giants uh, test stream the other day. I'm learning these programs. I'm old. Uh, I'm learning about the Elgato. Brian Liner talked to me a little bit about OBS. So I'm trying to get the, you know, this equipment going and the streaming going so I can stream more older Skylander games for all of you. But, uh, you know, I'm not a young whippersnapper like all of you. I'm a lot older, so it takes me a little longer to catch on. I, I didn't grow up with, you know, a cell phone in my hand. Or the internet, for that matter. <laughs> and speaking of which, uh, one thing... Ugh, one thing I really liked growing up was uh, strategy guides. Uh, I remember having Nintendo Power as a kid. And now being a Skylander collector, I remembered the strategy guides by Brady Games. Now, I've been really uh, sick lately, and one topic though that really caught my eye, because I've been watching a lot of videos while I'm, I've been sick, is that Prima Strategy Guides will be closing its doors in 2019. Yeah, they're the last of the big boys, and they're, they're closing their doors. And if you didn't know, they actually bought Brady Games back in 2015. So, yeah, so they're all one big company now, and they'll be closing their doors. Maybe that's why we didn't get a Skylanders Imaginators uh, strategy guide back in the day. I remember being very mad about that. Right, dear Activision and Brady Games, where the f is my Skylanders Imaginators strategy guide? Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Okay, well, I'm not that mad. But I remember being disappointed we didn't get a Skylanders Imaginators strategy guide. We got one every year, and that was one year that we missed. And moving forward, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any strategy guides, which is kind of disappointing. I would have liked to see, you know, a Skylanders Ring of Heroes strategy guide. Because Primo was getting into mobile phone game uh, strategy guides, and I think uh, like a Ring of Heroes strategy guide would have been pretty darn cool. Now, why, why is this happening? Are people not reading anymore? Nah, I think people are still reading. Oscar, man. <laughs> yeah, people are people are still reading. I think it's just because of the technology nowadays. Everything is going digital. Like back in the day, when I was growing up, I had to go to Nintendo Power to find stuff. Now, what would you want to do? Would you want to go through this book to find a treasure chest you're missing? Or would you like to watch someone on YouTube? Just go directly right there and you'd be like, Oh yeah, I was just there yesterday. I know where that is. You know, I, so I see the decline in these kind of things, but it is kind of sad at the same time. And these books are very well done. Very detailed, beautiful maps and locations and stuff. And it, it's sad. And being a, a Skylander collector, and you know, it's going to be sad to see these go. But what about you? Did you ever even collect these? You know, am I, am I, way, old, am I way too old? And Back in my day... You know, some of you might not even know about some of these books. But I, well, I just remember going to EB Games. I launched a game. I specifically remember Swap Force going there to pick up the Dark Starter Pack. And this book here was just on the countertop at the same time. I mean, the two came hand in hand. And I, I'm just kind of sad and disappointed that these are going to be going away now. Anyways... That's about it. I wanted to share my thoughts with all of you. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. All right, and I will be back soon with more Skylander content. All right, bye everyone. Bye Brady. Bye Prima. <laughs> oh man. My mama don't like you. She likes everyone. And I never like to admit that I was wrong.